Hi guys, so I am here with a new series that I never really introduced yet, officially. Anyways, it is like a cosplay basic or cosplay 101 series, and I call it Welcome to Cosplay, and it's where I will be going over like the beginner information that you should know to cosplay and just like some quick tips and introduction tutorials to different aspects of cosplay like armor or painting or lighting so I know those aren't always necessarily like a beginner project but just like the intro and the basics to those. Anyways, in this video I am going to talk about cosplaying on a budget. So as we all know, especially if you're a cosplayer already, you understand how expensive it all can be. We'll get to the first point. Save up over time. That is what I do with a lot of my larger projects, which is why I don't put out a lot of larger projects often. So if you really, really, really have a cosplay that you want to do, but it's really big and really fancy and it's going to be really expensive, don't try to rush it. Save up slowly over time, gather the materials, wait to look for like when things go on sale or when you've saved up the money for it. Build all that up and as you get stuff, you can slowly begin to like work on different pieces. This way you're not like rushing at the last minute if you have a deadline to get it all done. Whenever you're making like armor or props or any pieces that people would usually turn to Warbla to make, look towards craft foam, EVA foam, like those anti-fatigue rolls, Sintra foam, expanding foam, cardboard even. Look at these options because if you practice with them and you get to know them and you take your time to really work with them, you can make really, really, really incredible things. I know there's already a lot of tutorials out there and I will have some coming, not to say my work is like super incredible or anything, but maybe that will help you guys make something super incredible and surpass the teacher. <laughs> but no really, like you see a lot of cosplayers, really popular cosplayers too, making incredible things with no warbla and just all out of craft foam or expanding foam or whatever kind of foam. If you can't get a warbla, then don't try to go for that. Go for craft foam and look at tutorials for how to work with that and just get really good at that because that is definitely a billion times cheaper. So the next tip I have is about wigs. There are sites that sell really expensive wigs. I haven't personally bought from them, but you know, like you see from like other people posting about them, they have really, 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 really good quality wigs, but they're kind of, like I mentioned, they're, they're really expensive sometimes. So if you don't have the money for that, then I recommend searching around eBay or Amazon because you can find really cheap wigs and sometimes the quality might not be the best so you might have to watch for that. Usually I check the seller reviews and how many stars and what's your ratings and all that stuff. I've gotten quite a few good wigs off of eBay that might have just been pure luck, that might have been just looking for the good sellers. Usually it's really easy with eBay and Amazon to get a refund if there is actually something seriously wrong with your wig. A another way of saving on cost of wigs is to ask your friends for them. Like if you have friends that are in the cosplay community and into cosplay, then ask around, see if they have any wigs you can borrow. Just note when you're borrowing someone's wig, take really, really, really good care of it and get it back to them in the condition they gave it to you in. Thrift your cosplays. Check all your local thrift stores in general and even like some that might not be like local local but are still kind of nearby like in the next town over or something. They might not have anything that's like exactly what you need but they might or probably will have pieces that you can mod. Also check things like yard sales and garage sales and even flea markets, especially those places because then you can usually bargain a lot easier and like lower the price down. This one was kind of related, the wig one. If you absolutely cannot afford a wig, look into picking a character that has your hair color. I mean, technically you can, you know, cosplay any way you want. So if you just want to cosplay someone who has pink hair and you have brown hair, go for it. There's like, you, you can do what you want. If you are trying to be more exact or anything like that, then definitely look into cosplaying a character that has your hair, or if you're able to, even dye your hair to match that character. Continuing with that, it is always good 
if you're on a strict budget, pick a character to cosplay that is very simple and kind of modern with like everyday wear. So basically just pick an easy character to cosplay, like a character that you look at and you're like, I probably have a lot of that clothing in my wardrobe right now. Now branching off of that idea as well as adding on to like the thrifting idea, use clothes you already have to cosplay. Which is basically just what I said pick a character where you could use your own clothes but if you are picking a character where you really don't have your own clothes use your old clothes that you don't really wear anymore mod those and and like cut those up you can even take some old like dress or something you have and like use it to make like a t-shirt that you need for a character like, use it as like spare fabric look for like pillowcases and curtains and blankets you don't just have to buy like fabric like it says fabric over that section and that's the only thing you can use to sew or make a costume with look for like I said like the linens and stuff in thrift stores and you could probably get enough fabric to make a costume out of I like to usually look for like old sheets or even sometimes they've got new sheets there and see what I can find because that always makes for a great couple yards of fabric so I mentioned asking friends about wigs earlier another way to save on cosplay is asking friends who are around like your size and everything if you could just borrow their cosplays because i know some people that do that often and i see it a lot on the internet they'll just lend each other each other's costumes and wear it for a convention or a photo shoot or something like that again the only thing you should really keep in mind is to turn it in the condition they gave it to you just try to be more cautious when wearing someone else's stuff reuse pieces from old cosplays a lot of characters can have like similarities between them so look for those similarities or even pick characters that are kind of similar to what you did last time costume wise so this way you can easily just reuse old pieces from an old cosplay and make them fit with a new one so a lot of the expenses come from needing a sewing machine if you're doing something that requires sewing and a lot of people can't Ford sewing machine. I think a lot of people skip over cheaper ones you can find at Target or Walmart because they're like, oh, it's just the worst quality. I mean, I don't want to get one that will break. But if you're really on a budget and all you can afford is some $50 one at Target, say go for it. I've had a brother machine from Target before and I got it for like $70. I'm sure they go on sale around the holiday even and it worked just fine and it lasted me a lot, long time. I mean like I still have it, I still use it. It might not be like the best thing ever but it will get the job done for most costumes. Don't you know mess it up by being too rough with it or anything like that and it should last you a long time until you can afford something fancier and to your liking so for props and stuff you should definitely look around the house a lot of the time just normal household items could be used for cosplay there are things like cans and like wooden posts you may have well i don't know i we got a lot of just wood pieces out in my backyard so yeah, you might not have that. That just might be something weird about me. Water bottles are another thing that can be used, and the caps, and old spools, newspaper, cardboard boxes, stuff like that. Just look around, and I'm sure you could find some stuff to use that you already have lying around. So, another thing is there are some costumes that are online, they're for sale, they're usually on eBay, and they're fairly cheap. They might not always be like super super great quality but i've bought quite a few costumes from ebay once again just research the shell seller look at the reviews make sure everything looks good make sure you're ordering to the correct measurements that are listed but like, like cheap costumes i mean like they're cheap for what they are there are some costumes that i've seen for 20 there's some costumes that i've seen from 40 for 50. figure out what your budget is and see whether it'd be cheaper to buy it or cheaper to make it another way to save is to skip out on contacts i know there are some sites where they're kind of cheap and they're only like 20 dollars or something like that to some people that might be expensive though or you've 
can't go to the eye doctor, you can't afford that, or you can't, like, don't have time to get there to get your prescription if you don't already have one. Don't buy contacts if you don't see your eye doctor first. Or it just is another expense that you don't really want to have to pay for, then skip out on it. You could always edit your eyes in photos later if that's really that big of an issue to you. So for some pieces, like little details, and you can even use this for gems and stuff, it just might not be as transparent as you want it. Use clay. Polymer clay can be a little bit expensive, but if it's in your budget, then I recommend that because it's oven baked clay. But there are like big giant tubs of air dry clay that you can get for fairly cheap and they will last you for like ever. If that is more in your budget, then get that. Just be wary that I found air dry clay to break a lot easier than oven baked clay. Save your leftover materials. You might even have small scraps that you think you'll never use because it's impossible to use like these tiny little scraps and triangles like what, what will they be used for and you'll probably actually never use them for like the outer part of your cosplay but I found it to make for good stuffing and stuffing can be really expensive for what it is and how much you need to use in some stuff check the big like saving stores like Target and Walmart where they're like everything's always super cheap especially like Walmart so check there see what they have because usually they are really really cheap so if you can find something there definitely get it there and for my last tip it is coupons a lot of places only have the fabric stores like joann's joann's has a lot of ways to get coupons and their coupons as long as they're from like different places like there's one for texting there's one for email there's ones on their website there's ones you get in a newsletter and then there's ones you can get online just by searching joann's coupon and then there's the retail me not app and a lot of the coupons if you just look you'll see the barcode or like the number underneath it is like slightly different so as long as they have a different number you can stack them all together and use them sometimes they won't apply to the same item you have to read what the specific coupon says but you will be able to use more than one in one transaction and it will save you a bunch of money you just have to time it right joann's also has a lot of sales check as often as possible see when their sales are changing and what they change to if you are lucky enough to be near a place like the fabric district in LA or have like local wholesale I don't know what you call them fabric stores definitely check those out a lot of drawers are cheaper than Joann's if they're like a local fabric store so just go there search around compare prices see what they have and what they don't have and go from there so I know that was a lot. I like to be really detailed and really thorough, and so I hope this really helped you guys learn how to make your cosplays for less and work within your budget. I hope you guys found this video helpful and enjoyed it, and this will come in handy and such. Have a lovely day. Thanks for watching. Why is this arm darker than the other one? This ugh, shadow, shadow makes it look, look, look at this and look at this.